Place your napkins in your lap and make sure your plate is perfectly aligned with the magical circle of light. Please silence your phone so as not to disturb the other guests. And now, without further ado, allow me to introduce to you, all the way from France, measuring six centimeters, the world's smallest chef, Le Petit Chef. To make a dish taste incredible doesn't cost anything. It just needs to be prepared with love. I've been to the most expensive restaurants in the world, but the best food I've ever tasted was cooked by my grandmother. She didn't cook for money, for restaurant stars or for fame. She cooked for the love of her family. I am immediately transported back into time to the long vacations I used to spend at a summer house in the middle of the forest. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you looking at? It's not my pot that I'm so popular. Let's see. It says, How can I become such a master chef like yourself? Hmm, flattering. Honestly, I get this question like a million times. To put this to bed once and for all, let me give you four tips on how to become a great chef. Even if you don't know how to cook an egg, by the end of this dinner, uh, yeah, well, probably you will still not be able to cook an egg, but you expect I'm not a miracle worker. But I'm sure if you pay attention, you'll learn a thing or two. Or at least you'll be able to make an interesting picture from your Instagram. Hashtag most amazing dinner of my life. Hashtag <laughs> so cute. Uh, okay, without further ado, pay close attention. Let's reinvent dining and just go back to the basics of plating. Texture, color and composition. Let me present to you tonight's dish, inspired by the great Russian painter Vasily Kandinsky. Just like an artist, I want people's mouth to fall open when they see the dish placed in front of them. And I hope I've succeeded once again today. Bon appétit!
This is, I mean, this is her curve, as I like to simply call it. After this curve, you'll want to eat a burger with french fries to be full. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but then I wanted to give my guests a This wheel became one of the most influential artworks of the 20th century. So I said to myself, I'm going to put a piece of bread on the plate and call it my dining. Finito, my job is done. Bon appetit. Well, honestly, maybe for Marcel it worked, but my customers said that my food became way too arty farty and nobody came anymore to my restaurant. Inspired by the great Salvador Dali. to be all philosophical and ask myself, what is it? Hmm, inspired by the budget painter René Magritte. After this, I had the idea to serve all my courses in soup cans. Not one, not two, not three, but nine courses of soup. Soup as I'm with push, soup as appetizer, soup as main course, soup as dessert. Inspired by the American pop artist Andy Warhol. Then I went ahead and wrapped the whole plate and table in fabric like the famous artist Chico. Finally, I discovered the most genius artist of them all, Marcel Duchamp. He took a bicycle wheel, yes, you got me right, a bicycle wheel and common as the tomato. Tomatoes don't come from Italy. No, the first tomatoes came from what today is known as Peru. From there, they eventually extended to Mexico, where they were cultivated by the Aztecs. The Aztecs grew tomatoes on chinampas, which were floating gardens around their capital city Tenochtitlan. In the 16th century, the Spanish conquistador Don Hernán Cortés arrived in the New World. The Aztec king at first believed Cortés was the returning Quetzalcoatl, the first serpent god. was out of gold and conquered and destroyed this beautiful Aztec city. Back to Naples. He made a pizza with three ingredients that represented the colors of the new Italian flag. Red, the tomato sauce. White, the mozzarella cheese. And green, the basic topping. And so, the pizza margarita was born, which was so successful that the tomato became a popular ingredient in many different dishes. So please enjoy these ingredients which made such beautiful travels over different continents. On a side note, we, the French, were convinced that tomatoes had powerful romantic qualities, and so we called them bon amour, love apples. So, if you fall deeply in love this evening, don't... Bon appétit!
At the end of the day, you can be a great chef without having mastered all the different cooking skills. A great chef is first a great technician, just like a jeweler or a surgeon. You learn it through endless repetition, temperature, chemistry, acidity, roasting, braising, steaming, blanching, boiling. Hmm, I feel a melody coming up. Ready? C'est parti! Become a chef, become a chef, become a pro, and I'm a chef. As a chef, you need to come up with new dishes. Just make sure they are delicious and super nutritious. So your guests are overwhelmed with all the flavors. Play the steak on exercise, but you know this is too dead. The meat is over. But it does look nice once framed and put on the wall of your office. Now my pupils, go into the world and spread my wisdom and make me the most famous chef in the world by posting pictures and videos of this experience online. I hope you have enjoyed my dining show, but the time has come to bid you adieu. I hope you go home with your belly, your mind and your heart filled. And I hope to see you again soon, my little master chef. Merci beaucoup, mes amis. Adieu et au revoir.